Okay, good afternoon. This is another lecture and for tonight, I mean for this afternoon, sorry, we're going to talk about colligative properties of solutions. So what are colligative properties? They are properties that depend only on the number of solute particles in solution and not on the nature of the solute particles. So when we talk about colligative properties, our ultimate concern is gaano ba kadami yung solute particles na nakadissolve sa ating solvent, no? Sa ating solution. Okay. So, we have four colligative properties. Vapor pressure lowering, boiling point elevation, freezing point depression, and osmotic pressure. So, let's start with boiling point elevation. So, when we talk about boiling point elevation, ang main point lang nito is yung boiling point ng ating solution boils at a higher temperature than the pure solvent. So, the boiling point of your solution is always greater than the boiling point of your pure solvent. Ito lang yun. Ayan, very easy, di ba? So, if you're going to look at this phase diagram and look at this circle, so the solid line is the, um, they call this the boiling temperature of your, of your pure solvent. So, pure. And the dashed line is for your solution. So, if you're going to look at this, it is evident, no? The temperature increases as you go to the right. Na yung boiling point ng ating solution ay mas mataas kesa dun sa boiling point ng ating pure solvent. So, a very concrete example of this is when you boil water alone, yung tubig lang. Pag nagpakulo ka ng tubig lang, it will boil at 100 degrees Celsius. Pero di ba during Christmas, usually you make pasta. So, if you put pasta on the um, on the solvent, which is water, or kaya you put salt, may salt pa yun, di ba? Kapag nagluluto ka ng pasta, mas tumataas yung boiling temperature. So, hindi yun kukulo at 100 degrees Celsius. Kukulo yun higher than 100 degrees Celsius kasi may solute ka na eh. May solute ka na doon sa solution mo. And again, yung colligative properties mo, it will depend on the number of solute particles dissolved in your solution. So now, what is the boiling point elevation? Boiling point elevation is the difference here. It is the difference between the two boiling points. Yun yung difference between the boiling point of your pure solvent and the boiling point of your solution. So, boiling point elevation, symbolized by change in Tb, ayan, is equal to Tb minus Tb0. Anong ibig sabihin ng Tb0? Your Tb0 is the boiling point of your pure solvent. Yung solvent lang. And your Tb is the boiling point of your solution. Okay. So again, th this is your boiling point elevation. And your boiling point elevation is the difference between these two boiling temperatures. Very easy. Very easy. Now, if the boiling temperature of your solution is greater than the boiling point of your pure solvent, then the boiling point elevation is positive. It is greater than zero. What is the formula? It's change in Tb, your boiling point elevation, is equal to Kbm. Wherein, your Kb, your Kb is your ebullioscopic constant. Ebullioscopic constant. Ayan. And your M is your molality. What is the unit for your ebullioscopic constant? Degree Celsius per molal. Si molality, anong unit? It's molal, di ba? Or kaya mole per kilogram. Parehas lang yan ang ibig sabihin. So, in other books, they call KB as molal boiling point elevation constant. Parehas lang po iyan, ha? Okay, this molal boiling point elevation constant is dependent, no? It's a constant that is dependent on your given solvent. And again, your change in Tb, this is your boiling point elevation. So again, the formula is change in Tb is equal to Kbm, but change in Tb is equal to what? It's equal to Tb minus Tb0. Tama po ba? So, we can also write the formula for boiling point this way. 
TB minus TB naught is equal to KBM. I'll give you some tips when to use this and when to use this one. Usually, ito gagamitin mo pag binigay sa'yo yung exact boiling point elevation o kaya hinahanap sa'yo mismo yung boiling point elevation. Pero ito, usually ginagamit to, mas madali tong gamitin kapag ka ang hinahanap sa'yo is yung boiling point either ng pure solvent or boiling point ng solution. Okay? Any questions, post them on Canvas, okay? Or send me a message directly on Facebook or post them on the comment section of this video. Now, let's go to freezing point depression. Si freezing point depression naman, ang main point niya is yung freezing point ng solution. It is always lower than the freezing point of your pure solvent. So, if you're going to look at this, Phase diagram again the dash line the dash line here is for your solution and the solid line is for your pure solvent mas mababa po yung freezing point ng solution kesa sa solvent so ano yung freezing point depression yung freezing point depression is the difference again between those two temperatures between those two freezing temperatures so freezing point depression you can write is as change in TF. So your freezing point depression is equal to TF naught minus TF. What is your TF naught? Your TF naught is the freezing point of your pure solvent. And your TF, TF, freezing point of your solution. Madali lang po, madali lang. Ano pala ang unit nito? Ang unit ng change in TV is degree Celsius, ha? Ganon din si change in TF, degree Celsius, si freezing point depression, no? The unit for freezing point depression is degree Celsius, okay? So, ayan. So, if the freezing point of your pure is greater than the freezing point of your solution, then the freezing point depression is positive or greater than zero. What's the formula? Change in TF is equal to KFM. Okay, itong tinuturo ko for non-electrolytes pa lang ha. Colligative properties for non-electrolytes. Kasi kapag electrolyte na, may Van Hoff factor na. Yung Van Hoff factor, mamaya i-discuss ko. Dito muna tayo mag-focus. So, your KF here, KF, this is your cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant in some books they call this your molal freezing point depression constant this is again based on a given solvent unit for this is degree celsius per molal and si molality ayan molality the unit for molality is mole diba mole molal molal diba the unit for molality is molal. So, isulat nga natin yung formula. Moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. Ano po ang unit nito? Molal, or you can write it as mole per kilogram. Parehas lang po iyan. Okay? And your change in TF is again your freezing point depression. Ano po ang unit ng change in TF? It is degree Celsius. Okay, try to um try to solve this problem, paki screenshot. I will discuss it on my next video.